Welcome back to another video, guys. Today, we are going to be covering the 2011 MacBook Air, specifically the 11-inch model, which happens to be my most favorite MacBook design. I love the small, sleek, thin profile and style of this particular MacBook. And recently I've been searching for a little laptop that I can just take with me on the go, do some quick spreadsheet editing, maybe look up a couple of things on an internet browser, nothing too intense. And I think that this is going to solve that problem for me. I purchased this MacBook from local school district along with a few other items. When I purchased it, it was uh, sold to me as broken and all it needed after some diagnostic, it had no battery and it had no uh, hard drive. So we're gonna start off by repairing it, adding those parts that are missing and then run some benchmarks. Before we get started, please take a second hit that subscribe button and like this video. It really means a lot to me and helps the channel grow. So to begin any kind of repairs on these MacBook Airs, first we need to flip it over on its back and remove the 10 screws that are holding the back plate down. Now that we've removed the back from this MacBook Air, you can see the battery, which is only held down by five screws. This is not one of those MacBooks uh, that is more modern that is held down by adhesive. So changing the battery on this MacBook only requires you remove these five screws and then you're good to go. You swap it out and you have a new battery. Before doing any work on any computer or laptop, you want to make sure that you disconnect the battery from the motherboard or the logic board so that there's no chance that you damage the computer. Now somehow I accidentally deleted the footage of me actually installing the SSD NVMe stick into this MacBook Air. However, it goes right here you undo this screw right here and then you just slide the stick into this port right here and then all you need to do is just put the screw back in and that's what holds it into place it's a super simple process now that we have the battery and the SSD installed we can go ahead and reinstall Mac OS High Sierra, which is the maximum supported OS version for this MacBook Air. I did a video previously on how to create a bootable USB installer drive. I'll link to it up above. I want to start off by just reviewing the specs of this computer. Uh, it's 2011, mid-2011 MacBook Air 11 inch. Uh, it's got a 1.6 gigahertz second generation i5, four gigabytes of 1333 megahertz DDR3. Uh, this is, it's got four gigabytes of 1333 megahertz DDR3. This is soldered onto the computer and non-user upgradable. So I'm stuck with four gigabytes. I'd like eight, 
but I'll settle for four. That's much better than the optional two that you could get on this 2011 MacBook. It also comes equipped with the Intel HD Graphics 3000 with a whopping 384 megabits of VRAM. Uh, installed for the storage is the Apple proprietary drive, 128 gigabyte NVMe style SSD. And an 11 inch 1366 by 768 resolution LCD. Uh, I quite like the display on this. It provides pretty crisp image. There's definitely much better nowadays, but for the time period, this would have been an excellent display and I think it has aged well. Now that we have the computer all put back together and the operating system installed, I wanna go ahead and run a couple of benchmark tests. I'm gonna start off with Geekbench 5 running the CPU test and I'm just curious to see how well this 10 year old laptop performs. All right, it took about five minutes, 45 seconds to go through it. Uh, we got a single core score of 422, a multi-core score of 902. These test scores really do show the age of this MacBook, especially its processor. Um, it's right down towards the bottom there. If you take into comparison uh, similar computers, it gives this a pretty poor score. However, for uh, light internet browsing, uh, some spreadsheet work, stuff that I'm gonna be using it for, uh, still a perfectly working computer. Uh, I won't be doing any kind of big tasks with this MacBook Air, but running around town, needing to look something up quick, uh, I prefer this form factor over the iPad setup. Now I wanna run a Blackmagic disk speed test uh, because this has Apple's proprietary NVMe type style drive in it that you saw was installed from the repair portion of this video. It gives us an okay read write speed. Obviously this style of drive has come leaps and bounds since the release of this computer in 2011. That's going to wrap it up for the video on 2011 MacBook Air 11 inch model. Definitely one of my favorite laptops. The 11 and 12 inch style MacBooks I thought were awesome. It's perfect for a carry around laptop and I realize that nowadays the iPad pretty much has taken this market over and there probably will not be another one uh, there probably will not be another one made this small I wish in the future Apple would just put Mac OS on the iPad and I know that there's gonna be some people that argue that they did and it's just a more ios -y version, but it, I want a true Mac OS operating system on an iPad Pro, and that would be perfect. Uh, make sure that you guys subscribe on an upcoming video. I'm going to be upgrading and restoring this second generation iMac, one of my most favorite Apple designs uh, that they have ever made.